I just uh, finished setting that up. Uh, I'm getting ready to do some night shots and uh, I thought it might be a good time to unbox this. This is the um, Moment Anamorphic. Um, I got a couple of other stuff for Moment as well. Um, note, they did not send this to me. I bought them. So this, 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 this is from my hard-earned money. Let's do some unboxing. Okay, so um, We'll start with these. Um, remember when I uh, I did that review on the um, 58 millimeter and the uh, 18 millimeter that I'm using there right now? Uh, this is the uh, lens cap for the for the uh, back of the lens, which um, posed a dust problem. Uh, I guess it attaches here, like so. Aha! It does. So. Um, pretty nice you just put it in and it attaches there and this one is a double-sided tape and uh, sticks there I need to clean this first maybe with, um, with some alcohol before I install these on but yeah so uh, in there. Pretty nice. the rear lens cap is basically a, a rubber rubberized uh, cap the flange there just sticks in there so you know, I think these should come standard with, with their new lenses. Um, they should come with the lenses when you buy them. I also got the um, filter cap. I plan on using an ND filter this time. Um, Some will say, why don't you just get a big camera? But hey! So it comes with um, different um, rubber rings. This is for the uh, anamorphic, obviously. I hope you pardon my voice. I think I'm coming up with uh, something and I'm a little bit raspy today. Locks in nice. <laughs> it comes with instructions on the website. I should read it. I, I will read it, but just not now because I'm, I am filming this impromptu. Yep, so that goes in there. And then you can thread in your favorite filter. It's a uh, Gobi. It's not the most high-end one, but um, it will serve my purpose, I hope. Here's the uh, filter. Comes in a nice can, and it's wrapped pretty nicely. Nicely. Yeah. All right, main event. Really? Ah, uh, there you go. See? Um, so. Ooh. Every moment lens comes with a nice card. Yeah, you can see the anamorphic um, image here is stretched out. It's basically what it does. Um, it squeezes up the uh, video that you can later stretch out in post or in app. So now I'm just overdubbing because my phone started to overheat and the audio was just unusable. The lens itself is very high quality. Everything's made out of metal and glass. It's a little bit lighter than the 18mm and the 58mm, um, but this is mostly because this is also a much smaller lens. Moment Anamorphic comes with its own microfiber pouch that you can use to clean the lens and a protective lens cap. It comes with a uh, extra grub screw. Because the Anamorphic squeezes the footage, you may have to loosen the grub screw and rotate the lens so that it squeezes the right way. Yeah, so now um, we're gonna compare how the uh, Moment Wide compares to the Moment Anamorphic. Is it the same if you just use the Moment Wide and put those black bars over and under? We'll see how that footage compares. Uh, we've got our trusty discount minion. So um, I'm gonna set the camera up here. Uh, right now, I am using the um, Moment Wide and uh, we will switch over to the Anamorphic. So now we're at the moment anamorphic, and this is um, at an identical distance uh, to, to, to what I shot with the 18mm. We're gonna test for um, distortions while we move the subject to the edges. And we will move back here. See, I don't have a slider, I'm sorry. 
it's a bit um, rough. I'm just dragging the phone over the um, over the counter. Yeah, so you can see the distortions. Um, how that distorts when you go down, and how that distorts when you go up. Pay attention to the window sill, which is right here. Um, you can see that the um, anamorphic acid distortion just goes down slightly to the edges. Uh, that's okay. It's it's a very unique look to the anamorphic lens, and uh, I kind of like it. Uh, some people might not, and they might prefer to use the wide angle, which I shall switch over to right now. Okay, this is the wide angle now, and the same way I'm going to do the um, test. Move this down, move this up. This is. Uh, Precisely the same position that I left the anamorphic. Um, you can see there's a wider crop on the wide, and also the subject looks further away. And uh, we'll move to the end, to the other edge. Uh, see, this is what I like about the um, moment wide, why it's so useful and so versatile, because. There really, there really isn't a lot of distortions at the edges in this lens, and um, it's a very good focal length for vlogging and for um, general photography. We'll take some more footage with the anamorphic. Um, uh, let me know what you think. Um, is the anamorphic worth it? I think it's it's in a um, it's in a weird place for the regular mobile video creator. Maybe not. At 150 bucks, I think it's still uh, more th more worthwhile to invest in the moment wide than the anamorphic. Don't get me wrong, the anamorphic is a very good lens. I really like the look. I like the lens flares and all, but it has a very niche use. To use the anamorphic you're gonna either have to have an, an app like the Moment app or the Filmic Pro app to de-squeeze the footage at the bare minimum and or you're going to have to have editing software on your laptop to de-squeeze the footage. Uh, you can't just slap it on, take a video and post a video. It has to be processed and that takes a little more effort and um, and it's not something that normal uh, mobile video uh, creators would, would have or would be willing to do. So in that case, the um, moment wide is a better investment. Now for the uh, dedicated mobile filmmaker, <laughs> I can't really comment that much on them because I am not a dedicated mobile filmmaker nor am I an expert in video. But I reckon that uh, mobile video might not be the best uh, in terms of uh, image uh, video quality but the moment anamorphic does give you that anamorphic look at a very low price compared to what you need to spend for a uh, DSLR or mirrorless setup so yeah there's a very narrow use for that was it worth it for me um, well I bought it on sale my wife gave it to me as a gift I like it very much, uh, and you can expect me to use this more in videos. My only problem with that is that uh, for YouTube, um, YouTube doesn't support the uh, eight, uh, 21 by 9 aspect that the anamorphic natively takes, so I have to um, edit and post my videos at an 18 to 9 aspect ratio and then use black bars on, top, on the top and bottom when I use the anamorphic. It's kind of a, it's kind of a bummer, but yeah. Oh, by not support, I mean that YouTube won't let me use end cards or um, uh, those 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 links. Overall, I like the 
the look that the lens made. I, I love the flares. Uh, I love the uh, image quality it gives. Yeah, I give it a thumbs up. If you like what you see here, please click the like button. And uh, if you want to watch uh, more of my <laughs> reviews of stuff that I own, um, yeah, please uh, subscribe. I got another video coming up on the Rampage. So that's coming up next week. So uh, subscribe to watch that. If you have um, questions, comments uh, about the lens, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. See ya. Thank you.